Cake Guru. I'm so sorry for saying it was going to be the best anime of of the season. It it was terrible. It was not Kaiji. If you went into it expecting Kaiji, you like me are distraught. As far as gambling anime, it's it's the worst there could possibly be. It's just really really bad at what you're supposed to be doing in a gambling anime in a in a keikaku dori anime and uh, i mean a lot of it is to do with how little time they give these games to breathe like they come up with a game and it, some some of them are interesting some of them are not so interesting but in either case they 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 don't explain them well they don't give them enough time to breathe to give the viewer uh, the time to internally internalize the logic of the game and to come up with their own strategies uh, their own ideas of how it could be won they don't they don't do any of that they don't they don't give a shit about the games really which is odd because they have tons of them tons of games which they don't really explore very well and like the trick to winning them is some bullshit every time and I went and I went and checked the manga like after the first couple episodes to see if like this is just something that the anime did that they fucked up but the manga is exactly the same like in the first chapter of the manga they have one game tucked inside the first chapter and all right so in the first game is the 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 rock paper scissors game in this they use some voting system it's pretty neat sounding system that has a lot of room to potentially be great except they they don't do any of that um so one of the characters are cheating and the main character figures out that they're cheating so that she can win the way she does this is she uses a little mirror to see behind her towards the person who's broadcasting what everyone's supposed to be voting and and the thing is that that mirror only ever gets shown or explained after the game's finished and she's explaining how she did it there was no clue for the viewer that that would be a thing that she had done right so there's you, you can't do a keikaku dori without foreshadowing that's just a, it's just a rule of storytelling really you can't do that you can't just pull it out of your ass at the last minute how how it happened you got to give the the viewer a chance to try and you know figure out the mystery it's like it's like a detective mystery where the detective goes and solves the thing at the end with a bunch of clues that the viewers were never given it's complete bullshit and I, the, the gambling doesn't have any stakes that's another huge problem the gambling never has any stakes because the main character just doesn't give a shit the main character is always like it's supposed to be cool or something that the main character just wants to gamble to gamble and doesn't care if she wins or loses but caring if you win or lose is kind of important to gambling that's kind of the entire point and i honestly don't get how she as a character is like getting off on these gambles she's supposed to be like sexually aroused from being put in in danger in these gambles because she's never actually in danger uh, she apparently has bazillion dollars that we get told about very late in this in the uh, season She's just a rich kid. She was never in danger at any point. She could always have pulled herself out It's total horseshit the entire concept of this thing And honestly the the tits and everything this anime is not very sexual despite the uh, If you want a sexualized anime with keikaku dories you go to you go to prison school that did all everything that it's trying to do well already i don't know what i don't know who cake guru is for or why it's just terrible ballroom ballroom was probably the anime of the season i'd have to say i mean the necks don't lie you get long necks so you get a good anime everything's on the tin for the ballroom anime it's the anime about ballroom dancing it's really well animated. It's it's got just, you know, a solid plot. It forces drama out of different character dynamics and uh, ballroom dancing. It's uh it's good and it's ongoing. It's got a second um, core this season. Uh, there was a Vatican Vatican Examiners 
which is a fun little uh, horror mystery. You know, I uh, I I saw recently some you know like uh, scientific studies to do with uh, spoilers. It was saying that spoilers aren't as bad as people. I mean, it's something that should be obvious. People who cry about spoilers are overselling it. Spoilers can just as often make something better. And I think I think uh, Vatican examiners could very much benefit from being spoiled. So I'm going to spoil it for you. So the first uh, four episodes, uh, the mystery, it ends with Nazis. So there you go. That's that's what it's leading up to. It's leading up to uh, the son of Hitler. And I, I'm, not, I'm not joking. Uh, oh, oh, what was really good was um, Altair, a record of battles. So that was a... It's a, like a historical drama, I guess. I mean, it's quite clearly about... Um, Turkey in the, you know, like during the Ottoman, early Ottoman Empire. Although I think they, like they changed the names of places around and there's some fantasy elements. There's clearly a huge basis in reality, but then also like there's pane glass windows, which as a a historical uh, dork that I am, I know that, that pane glass windows are rather modern and that's not something you would be seeing at this time period. And also, in the first episode, there's uh, fireworks, but no one has guns. There's no guns, no cannons, nothing. I mean, you don't have big, fancy, modern-looking fireworks like this unless you also have guns. It's the same stuff. But otherwise, it's it's uh, pretty cool. And it's not like... Um, it's called Altair, A Record of Battles, and there is a series of battles throughout this anime but it's the main character is not like a general he's like uh he's he's actually he's adverse to that he's trying to have peace he's um a pacifist he has witnessed war himself and does not want more war for his country his people and so he makes for an interesting character much more uh trying to solve things politically makes for a much better character than certain things um um, I saw the movie with the, uh, the deaf, uh, girl, which was really, um, I, I, I teared up a bit. It's, it's really, um, I, I'm not, I'm not one to easily cry either, so it, it did a good job. <sighs> so, yeah, um, <laughs> a silent voice is what that one was called. There was Neo Yokio. Did anyone watch Neo Yokio? I described that as um, the perfect Newgrounds original anime par- parody in the mid two thousands. It it was kind of spooky when I was watching it, where like the first couple episodes, and they're making jokes in the same way that like I would make jokes in Morphe Mondulis, same humor and same like comedic timing and and stuff like that. And it's very intentionally looking like a crappy Newgrounds anime. Terrible color choices for everything and really stiff poses. Despite like when there is animation, it is actually pretty damn good animation. But it's uh, the drawings are so, <laughs> so intentionally bad. And, and that's made by uh, Ezra K- Koenig, Koning, the front man for Vampire Weekend. I would not be surprised if Ezra was watching my my animations in the mid 2000s and and other people's uh, Newgrounds original anime parodies and the ones on like Live Journal and um, early YouTube. I guess he seems like the kind of guy who probably was doing that. When I've seen like discussions about Neo Yokio, people are blaming it on like the actors and there's like a a really well-known cast and so there's a lot of like blame being pushed on Jaden Smith like this is his anime (laughs) but um the themes are very much Ezra all of the like upper crust rich people themes are like straight out of a vampire weekend song I think Jaden is getting blamed for more than he's actually responsible for and uh I thought it was pretty um pretty bold for all of these um well-known actors, people beyond 
Jade, like I think Jaden Smith is trying his hardest here to act really well, but um, there's a lot of other people who definitely can act and they are very purposely acting as stiffly and boringly as possible to really capture that feel. I thought it was pretty funny for a while at least. It overstays its welcome very quickly despite only being six episodes. It's uh it's not for everyone. But if you're if you if you want to get like nostalgic about Newgrounds original anime parodies, then it's a show for you. I also watched um Deathflix, the Netflix Death Note. I think I think I'm going to make another video specifically about Death Note stuff for that. Because I have a lot to say about Death Note. I've seen like all of the Death Notes. So I'll be a dork about that and like explain why the drama version has the best version of light. Infinity Force uh, by Tatsunoko. It's a manga adaption. Uh, the story of the original manga begins when a girl named Emmy uses a pencil that can grant any wish. Uh, Emmy gets caught up in the robbery of a convenience store and her life is in danger. She uses the pencil to wish for a hero that will save everyone. Why do you need a hero that will save everyone if you have a, a pencil that can... All right. Uh, four heroes appear in response to Emmy's wish to change the course of the future. The anime will have a different story from the original manga. All right, you have a pencil that can grant any wish. Why did you need to create superheroes? You could just write down the robbers die and then it, your pencil is the, the death note. <laughs> I, I like the, uh, normally I don't like 3D, but um, the animation looks all right in this and the aesthetic isn't trying so hard to be trying to look like 2D animation. That's usually the big problem with uh, 3D animation in, in anime is that it's trying to s still look like a 2D anime. This has its own aesthetic to it, and I I like it. Dia Horizon parentheses high uh, by Fanworks. It's a mixed media project. The story combines the games world with modern sailor salary man life. This style is. I do like a mix of 2D, 3D in interesting ways. This is kind of creepy looking. Sengoku Nightblood by Typhoon Graphics. It's an Otome game adaption. Uh, one day, Yuzuki is enveloped by mysterious light suddenly emanating from her cell phone and finds herself in an unfamiliar place. The scenery spreads out before her almost resembles Sengoku period Japan. But this is another world known as Shinga where non-human creatures such as vampires and werewolves reside. Long ago, the various tribes of Shinga lived together peacefully under the protection of the Him Himemiko, who possessed special blood. However, one day the Himemiko suddenly vanished. With the protection of the Himemiko gone, the world has fallen into a period of strife as the warlords of the Gega tribes started fighting one another vying for control and as if summoned by all the unrest strange monsters called yakuma run rampant through the land attacking the inhabitants hideyoshi yoyotomi who leads the yoyotomi army takes in yuzuki after rescuing her on the battlefield and accidentally discover that her blood awakens the latent powers of the gega tribes Upon learning of the power of Yuzuki's blood, the other warlords, Oda, Yusegi, Takeda, uh, Sanada, and Date, begin pursuing Yuzuki, each for their own purposes. Find the girl from another world were the parting words from the vanished Himamiko laugh to Imari, a white tanuki bearing a tea kettle. Yakuma continued to appear in increasing numbers and touched by Yuzuki's powers, the warlords struggle with what to protect and what to fight. A new story comes together in the midst of war set in another world. <sighs> that was a, a long-winded synopsis for a bunch of guys with cat ears. Juni Tyson Zodiac War by Grafinika. It's a light novel adaption. The record of the bloody battle between the 12 Proud Warriors, the 12th 12 tournament that gets held every 12 years, 
12 brave warriors who bear the name of the sign of the zodiac fight each other for the lives and souls period what the participants are 12 very strange warriors rat ox tiger rabbit dragon snake horse goat monkey rooster dog and pig <sighs> Like the Zodiac. The victor of the tournament gets to have one wish granted, whatever the wish may be. The one wish they want granted. I, what is with these sentences? Who will be the final survivor? Question mark. Who, whose tears will flow on the bloody battlefield filled with conspiracy and murder? Question mark. The uh, soul-shaking battle royale is about to begin. Sounds kind of stupid. Looks kind of cool. Also looks kind of stupid. Stupid and cool are not entirely separate things love is like a cocktail by craters and pack it's a digital manga adaption chisato mizusawa is a reserved but excellent and pretty chief in her company she has a secret that only her husband sora knows which is she likes drinking alcohol and she can become very cute when she is drunk that's the lamest secret i've ever heard even tonight she gets relaxed with the phrase shifuku and drunk with the cocktail sora makes it's a yoi dere drunken dere cocktail comedy of japan's closest husband and wife you're always cute when you're drunk what a rapist you're a hara by EMT Squared and Shiro Gumi. It's a webcomic adaption. Several years from now, the great cities of the world will be destroyed by creatures from another planet. Their next target is Tokyo's famed Harajuku district. Only a trio of treasure-seeking shop girls can hope to save the day. But first, do they have what it takes to become members of the Park Harajuku Crisis Team? Question mark? Sounds dumb. I probably won't like it, but it's stylishly cute. I'll give it that. We Are Humanoid Monster by DLE. It's an original. Um, there's no synopsis, so just, just watch the, the trailer, I guess. <laughs> Looks like a solid Kuso comedy anime. Just really garbage animation and s stupid jokes. I, I like that stuff. I like um, uh, Astro Fighter Sunred. That was a great series. This looks kind of like that. Just Because! Exclamation mark by Pine Jam. It's an original. For a group of high school seniors, a chance reunion with a transfer student will change the course of their final year. Aita Izumi has come back to his hometown after four years and encounters some unlikely acquaintances. Haruto Soma, Aita's childhood friend, Ina Komiya, the photography student who witnesses Aita and Haruto's reunion, Mio Natsumi, whose feelings for middle school crush still linger, and Hazuki Morikawa, a girl who seems uninterested in romantic relationships. I fell asleep while I was reading that. You just listed a bunch of characters and no actual plot here. So why did why did you make this anime? Just because King's Game the Animation by Seven, it's a novel adaption. A high school class containing 32 students all receive a strange text message on their cell phones one night. It welcomes them to the Osama game in which they are given specific tasks to carry out in a 24-hour period. No one takes it very seriously at first, as the tasks are trivial things like having one student kiss another. Soon the tasks escalate beyond what the kids are willing to do, and they learn that the cost of failure is death. Will they be able to find a way out of the Osama game before more people die and the living lose their integrity and humanity? through their participation in the increasingly horrible daily tasks. <laughs> sounds sounds like a solid concept for a, a, a horror thing, but uh, I guess it depends on how well it's done. Girls Last Tour by White Fox. It's a manga adaption. In a future where most of humanity has perished, two young girls named Chito and Yuri explore the ruins of civilization on their 
Ketan Crad gun tractor looking for food and fuel. Despite their bleak existence, the two find meaning in their simple shared experiences. With Chito behind the wheel and Yuri handling gun duties, these two set out to salvage what's left of their post-apocalyptic world. Uh, I guess this is supposed to be um, cute girls on a gun tractor in the post-apocalypse. Yeah, cute girls doing cute things is um, being stretched very thin at this point. I, I just I can't stand these uh, dumb character designs. They're dumb white ass. I'm I'm just not I'm not gonna bother even trying this one. Someone's gonna be like, oh man, you gotta watch it. It's just like so poetic, heart rendering, um, beauty. You know what I mean? And and I'm just, no save your heart rending cute girls doing cute things for um, the art gallery where it belongs. Hmm. Recovery of an MMO junkie by Signal MD. It's a digital manga adaption. Morioka Morioka is a 30 single and a neat. She has dropped out of the real world searching for a safe place. The place she ended up, Ellipsis, is the online world! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. This world is crap, Mo Morioka Morioka has become a complete neat and in search for a more fulfilling life, she ends up traveling into the online world. The place she ended up was an online game. In the world of this online game, Morioko starts a new life as a refreshing, handsome young man with silky hair named Hayashi. However, she's an obvious noob and ends up dying numerous times when a lovely girl named Lily and lends her a helping hand. She's an angel, exclamation mark. After meeting Lily, she gains a trusted ally and her online gaming life becomes rather fulfilling. Meanwhile, in real life, she ends up having a shocking encounter with a mysterious blonde-haired, blue-eyed, handsome, elite sal salary man named Sakurai Yuta. Not sure how she manages to do all of that when she's spending her time in an MMO. After meeting him, the real world starts to change and starts affecting her online world as well? Question mark, exclamation mark. What will become of Morioka's uh, fulfilling online life? Question mark, exclamation mark. In the search for true fulfillment, Ellipsis, you should log into this world where online and reality intersect, exclamation mark. I don't know, this, this feels crusty. This feels old and crusty. Does anyone even play MMOs anymore? All of these MMO animes feel like they shouldn't even exist anymore. Who plays MMOs? How, how does a salary man have time to be playing an MMO? I understand the need, but he has a job. And why is he doubling up his job with another job? Garo Vanishing Line by Mappa. It's an original, highly advanced town, Russell City. While people enjoy its prosperity in the town, there is a huge conspiracy secretly going on which will shake the world. Sword, a man who notices its movement, determines to throw himself into battles and reveal the conspiracy, but only to find a clue, a word El Dorado. At that time, Sword happens to meet a girl, Sophie, who has been looking for the meaning of El Dorado, a message left by her missing brother. Sophie, who has lost her brother, and Sword, who has also lost his sister in the past. These two, attracted by the word El Dorado, somehow feel invisible ties uh, to each other and start to act together. Their journey with mixed feelings now begins. I don't, I don't really get this plot. I, I get this animation. Looks cool. Who fights in high heels? I, I get the, I get fighting in your underwear. But why high heels is not a good idea, and and uh, and the steak, you're just you're gonna get food poisoning eating something that thick and that obviously under undercooked. You're just you're gonna die. Code realized Guardian of Rebirth by MSC. It's another Otome game adaption. Um, 
Restricted to an abandoned mansion on the outskirts of London in fulfillment of a promise to her father, lonely Cardia lives day to day isolated from the world. Her body carries a deadly poison that rots or melts anything her skin touches, prompting the locals to call her a monster. Her last conversation with her father two years ago telling her to stay out of sight and never fall in love is the furthest back she can remember. One day her quiet solitude is interrupted as the royal guards break in to capture her. It is then that Cardia meets uh, Arsene Lupin, a chivalrous thief who helps her escape the soldier's clutches. She soon finds herself on a journey with Lupin to locate her father who holds the answers to her mysterious condition. The two are soon joined by four more interesting and handsome gentlemen ellipsis. I'm I'm not too into shiny, pointy, pretty boy, steampunk Lupin. I much prefer uh, long neck, giant hands Lupin, gruff and manly. Land of the Lustrous by Orange. It's a manga adaption. Uh, the manga story takes place in the distant future where a new life form called Hoseki Gems is born. Uh, the 28 gems must fight against the Tsukijin moon people who want to attack them and turn them into decorations. Um, so each gem is assigned a role, such as a fighter or a medic. Although she hopes to fight the moon people, Fos is a gem who is given no assignment until the gem's manager, Kongo, asks her to edit a natural history magazine. Nande? I don't I don't get that whole magazine part or really anything else. Uh mm, this uh typical 3D animation trying to look like 2D animation stuff is just garbage as usual, but the um the crystal stuff is cool. I mean, I get I get doing 3D for all these cool crystal and gem effects and whatnot. Um I just wish they didn't use the stupid anime shader for everything it's a interesting concept i i i'm gonna try this two car by silverlink it's an original the anime is set on miyake island a small and sparsely populated island south of tokyo but still lies within the boundaries of the tokyo metropolis the main characters are yuri miyata and megumi miguro Yuri is the girlish, cool-headed, and slender driver who works the accelerator and brake, and whose household runs a guest house. Megumi is the boyish, impulsive, and glamorous passenger who uses acrobatic skills and body weight to handle the corner work, and whose household runs an inn. What a, what a very strange way to introduce the characters. Uh, both are students at the Tokyo Metropolitan Miyake Girls High School. While they are the complete opposites of each other and often butt heads, they complement each other well during races. The team will fight other motorcycle sidecar teams from all over Japan, each with their own opposing traits such as honor student and working student, sadist and masochist, and a funny man and a straight man. So it's another cute girls doing cute things sports edition, although this isn't really sports. Driving driving is not a sport, okay? This whole like racing thing, it, no one cares. No one cares if you're racing on a motorcycle or in a car. Being able to operate a vehicle and like, you know, put gas in it is not really skills worthy of a sport. The Ancient Magus' Bride by Wit Studio. It's a manga adaption. Hattori Chisei has lived a life full of neglect and abuse, void of anything resembling love. Far from the warmth of a family, she has had her fair share of troubles and pitfalls. Just when all hope seems lost, a fateful encounter awaits her when a man with the head of a beast wielding strange powers obtains her through a slave auction Chisei's life will never be the same again. The man is a magus, a sorcerer of great power who decides to free Chisei from the bonds of captivity. The magus then makes a bold statement, Chisei will become his apprentice and his bride, exclamation mark. Um, will she? I mean, she was a slave. 
Maybe once you free her, she should have the choice to not become your apprentice and your bride. I don't, I don't, that's just, that's just me. Skull guy is kind of creepy, interesting, cool looking. Anime Guitaris by Wow World. It's an original. Just as soon as she enters Sakaneko Private High School, Asagaya Minoa, damn, I'm nailing these names, uh, is dragged into the anime club by her classmate, Kami Gusa Alice, even though she knows next to nothing about anime. A classmate, Kone, fuck, Konji Miko, along with other anime-loving senpais, quickly turns her into an anime fan, fighting off the incessant shutdown threats of the student council and completely oblivious to the coming apocalypse. What? Uh, the anime club talks about anime in the club at Akihabara, at anime meccas, and at hot springs. So it's a it's an anime about talking about anime about talking about anime about talking about anime about talking about anime, and there's an apocalypse. Yeah, that, this kind of self-referential stuff doesn't really ever do it for me. A sister's all you need by Silverlink. It's a light novel adaption. Um, oh no. Oh no. What did I just say? It's a light novel. And it's called The Sisters All You Need, and uh, I I know it's coming. I I fear what's coming. Every day is full of fun, but something is missing. My life would be amazing if only I had a little sister. Why don't I have a little sister, ellipsis, question mark. These are the musings of little sister lover and novelist Itsuki Hashima, who only writes works featuring little sisters. Around him gather a number of unique people, genius author pervert Nayuta, a female college student Miyako, illustrator Puri Ketsu, and the brutish tax accountant Ashley. Each of them hold their own worries, but live their peaceful daily lives while writing novels, playing video games, drinking alcohol, and filing their tax returns. Well, see, now I'm not sure, because now I don't know, is it just going to be some lewd bullshit about ludifying little sisters, or is it going to be about filing tax returns? Because if it's an anime about filing tax returns, I'm all in. Children of the Whales by J.C. Staff. It's a manga adaption. Chakuro is the 14-year-old archivist of the Mud Whale, a nigh-utopian island that floats across the surface of an endless sea of sand. Nine in ten of the inhabitants of the Mud Whale have been blessed and cursed with the ability to use Saimiya, cy special powers that doom them to an early death. So blessed. Hashtag blessed. Uh, Chakuro and his friends have stumbled across other islands, but they have never met, seen, or even heard of a human who wasn't from their own. One day, Chakuro visits an island as large as the mud whale and meets a girl who will change his destiny. Um, interesting. I like the aesthetic. Um, <laughs> fucking desert sandfish. Uh, I'm not reading this one because I, I just don't give a fucking shit, but fair warning that you're going to be seeing more Umaru gifs and webims and, and um, just pictures everywhere all over again because there's another season of the hamster girl. Umaru is terrible and you should feel terrible for memeing her everywhere. Evil or Live by How Liners Animation. It's a digital manhwa adaption. In the current youth, a certain disease started to spread among young boys and girls. Loneliness, rebellion, avoiding friends. In addition, they obsess over the internet and other electronic devices. Damn, those fucking millennials. Unable to avoid them. Experts call this disease net addiction, and there is a rehabilitation center built with the wish to lead young people back to the right path. But for one of the residents called Hibiki, the facility is more of a prison than re rehabilitation. Will Hibiki be able to escape his desperate hell where they do not forgive you for leaving? It's got a, a cool aesthetic in this trailer, and, and I like me some horror based around the horror of humans being terrible people rather than you know monsters and stuff so i, I think i can i can get behind this <laughs> my girlfriend is show bitch by diomedia uh, it's a manga adaption 
When high school student Shinazaki confesses his feelings to the beautiful and aloof class representative Akiho Kosaka, the last thing he expected was for her to say yes. Like everything else in her diligent life, Kosaka takes dating quite seriously. In an effort to be a good girlfriend, Kosaka decides to meticulously study and bluntly suggest all manner of ways to keep Shinazaki sexually satisfied ellipsis. In the theoretical sense, that is, this innocently lewd relationship is only just the beginning. The theoretical sense? Sexually satisfied in the theoretical sense. Bitch, it ain't physics. Inu Yashiki Last Hero by Mappa. It's a manga adaption. Inu Yashiki has a family, a wife, and two kids, none of which care about him. Aww. When he learns that he has only three months to live, he realizes that the only one who will miss him is his dog. Could be worse. Shortly after this realization, he is killed in a crash landing by aliens. Well, that, that was, um... He is rebuilt by them as a machine with a human exterior. How will his life change now that he isn't human? This synopsis sounds really stupid, but looking at this trailer, it looks fucking cool as shit. Um, first off, great dog. Second off, old man protagonist. Love it. I don't know what's going on with this guy finger banging and everything, but finger bang guy, cool. I yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna check this one out. Robo Masters, the animated series by Dandelion Animation Studio and Gonzo. It's an original. It's an anime based on the DJI hosted Robo Masters competition, which is the world's biggest student robotics competition. So this is like uh, this is an anime based on like a Robot Wars type show. That's uh, that's cool, I guess. I mean, I, I kind of don't get why you would make it into an anime. They're, they're pretty cool on their own when they're actual robots fighting. But, uh, I guess interesting? I, I have to see how it turns out, I guess. We have always been 10 centimeters apart, period, by Lay Deuce. It's a music adaption? The anime telling the story of Honeyworks Hatsukoi no Ihan, the picture book of the first love, and Ipun... Ichibyo Kimi to Boku no Yours and My Only Minute and One Second Music Videos with Added Elements Are these... Is this anime a bunch of music videos? Is it an anime adapting music videos? I don't understand, but I guess I'll give it a shot to see what the hell they mean. 6 HP, 6 Hearts, Princess by Ponko Tan, and it's an original. I am Haruka Hani. I am 14 years old and a Virgo. I was born to a normal family and grew up peacefully so far, but it's not looking good these days. What's not looking good? My being isn't. And then we have some terrible looking 3D and an airplane straight out of that other 3D anime. Like a, uh, the one with the cube and some butt and then the world universe broke and um, they're getting attacked by a ball, alien ball and the girl fell out of the plane and that's the guy, the terrible character designer who did these terrible character designs. And she's going straight into that. <laughs> and... No, oh, no, she's not going straight in. She's... Oh, well, there she goes. <laughs> what the fuck was that stretchy? Stretchy D. The age of dark Maho Shoujo is upon us again, again, again.